It's really interesting to be able to be the scientist Miss America. I think knowing that science was quite literally part of everything around me. I was always trying to find snakes and salamanders under rocks when I was a kid and I would pull worms out of the ground and go fishing with my dad and so I was not afraid to get dirty and I loved the natural world and that really all, that's biology. And that was something that my parents made really clear to me when I was younger and it made me really be able to love science from a young age. We talked about it being H2O2. We're gonna break off the oxygen off the side and we're so I think one of the misperceptions of someone who's taking a career in science, because it is a difficult subject to learn, that you have to be a perfect straight A 4.0 student, and that was not me. I achieved well in high school, but I definitely had bumps in the road. I especially struggled with some classes in college. I actually got a D in a chemistry class one time and had to retake the class, but then I got an A in the class when I took it the next time. But we all face adversity in our academic pursuits, and that's okay. And that doesn't mean that you're not learning it and that you're not interested in it. It doesn't mean that that should keep you from pursuing a science career, because it is hard and it's worth it. I had great mentors, but I definitely have had teachers and advisors that didn't necessarily encourage me um, to pursue this career. I had a high school chemistry teacher who told me when I answered a question correctly that even a blind squirrel gets a nut sometimes. It was discouraging and made me not want to raise my hand in class because I was not sure what that teacher was going to say to me if I got an answer correct or not correct. And so I just, being able to foster a supportive environment for young women in STEM is really important. Now this reaction is very simple. It only produces three things, water, oxygen, gas, and heat. When I was becoming Miss America, did I face criticism? Um, yes, all the time. Because this is so different than what people have normally done, that people really weren't sure that it was a talent. And I will happily say that I think it was a talent. And it also helped me win basically two years of scholarship money. And so I'm like, I don't really care if you don't think it's a talent. <laughs> um, I think it's a talent. I think that any unique thing that you have that you can offer and being able to communicate, number one, is a talent. Being able to educate is a talent. You know, it was a little bit of breaking stereotypes in the sense of Miss America, but being able to show people that there are more talents than just those traditional fine arts talents that we see at Miss America, and that science is cool. It was a great opportunity to do that. I think it's important for me to be the role model for those young people, that to stay true to who you are, even despite criticism. They're all taller than me. <laughs> what do you hope people remember you as, um, as Miss America 2020? I hope that I'm seen as someone who's groundbreaking in the organization, who changes what Miss America looks like in 2020, and I'm quite literally bringing this into a new century. In 2021, we will crown our 100th anniversary Miss America, and for me to be able to keep Miss America alive and relevant for the next 100 years that we have to come, I hope that I'm seen as a person who's not afraid to be different.